Six. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Popular. I'm back with another modern responsive uh, counterweight tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you a trick called the Fibonacci sequence. So that's a bit of a combo. We're going to start off with the Fibonacci roll, which is kind of fundamentally, I guess, really just what I wanted to show you. And then I'll show you what I do after the roll. So the Fibonacci roll uh, is this part of the trick. And basically what we're doing is your free hand is palm up and your throw hand is going to throw a breakaway and catch it on the outside of your hand. Uh, sort of similar to as if you're throwing a trapeze stall, but I'm going to go around pull the yo-yo so I'm giving the yo-yo a tug and letting it come into the palm of my hand so the string is on the back side of my hand the yo-yo is partially wound up then what I'm going to do is holding on to the yo-yo uh, usually I hold on to the back side of the yo-yo uh, with my thumb I'm going to let go of the counterweight and catch it again with my other hand so the first part of the Fibonacci roll is just basically this you're going to go catch out and spin then what i'm going to do is uh i don't actually do a ton of spins <laughs> this is like for when you're learning uh but you're generally just going to do one spin uh with your with your hand one pinwheel and throw the yo-yo but to kind of get used to that you can start with doing as many as you want uh, you can't just throw the yo-yo. You have to actually turn it. Uh, so, so now it's wound up on the back. And I tend to time the toss of the yo-yo. So I'm going to toss the yo-yo the same direction that the counterweight is going, which for me is clockwise. I'm going to toss it at the same time as the counterweight is in front of me. So I don't... This is all just kind of like timing that you just kind of build up intuitively. I'm describing what I see, but... Uh, it's not it's not super complex it's going to go around toss so pinwheel turn my hand so now the yo-yo is ready to unwind this way and kind of simultaneously i'm going to throw bam and the yo-yo is going to move slower so that's why you throw simultaneously is uh if the counterweight and the yo-yo are thrown at around the same time the counterweight will move faster, the yo-yo will start to unwind, and it'll take longer, and hopefully, if you time it right, it gives you more of a staggered response. Uh, so the next thing that's gonna happen after this is catching the, pin, uh, catching the, the counterweight, catch. The yo-yo now has unwound, and then I'm going to just pull the yo-yo into a, a stall it's going to be the counterweight is in my free hand. Uh, the stall will be on my free hand finger. It'll be sort of like a one and a half mount. So that's basically the Fibonacci roll. Uh, just palm up catch, letting go, spinning, turning the yo-yo 180 degrees, tossing again. Uh, I, I landed into a stall. Um, We'll cover now the whole Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> that sounds funny. Uh, but the whole combo that I like to do from that. This is uh, something you'll see me do in a lot of my freehand uh, or counterweight uh, videos. Now, as you saw, I tended to end the Fibonacci roll in a kind of one and a, one and a half, like a reverse one and a half. So my freehand is holding the counterweight uh, and has a string. So once you're here, you're just going to drop that thumb drop the counterweight, and you're going to use that momentum to do a pullover and pull the yo-yo out. So drop, pull. Uh, the yo-yo, the counterweight travels back to my throw hand. So when I do this, I go back to the end And I like to catch it cross-armed. So I'm 
So this is where I like to end up. My free hand is on top of my throw hand. I've caught the yo-yo on the sides and I have the counterweight in my throw hand. Uh, from here, I'm going to do a pop over, which is covered in one of the earlier tutorials. Uh, basically, it's going to be a drop and catch. So again, that's a pop over is uh, kind of like a small aerial where you drop the counterweight, you let it swing over. And as you do that, you are going to let go of the yo-yo and catch it with the throw hand. All of this together, the Fibonacci sequence starts with the Fibonacci roll into a stall. You're gonna do a pull over, cross arm catch, pop over, catch. And that's the Fibonacci sequence. Thanks for watching. Number six.